I've been doing some thinking about blood points, and more specifically, the place that we spend them, the blood web. And I would like to propose some changes that I feel would make the grind of DPD feel a lot better. Starting with our biggest offender, offerings. Oh my gosh, there are so many offerings that barely influence the trial. And a ton of them give you a tea tiny bonus to blood points. Let's keep it simple. Any blood point offering that doesn't give a bonus to all categories is out. These categories are silly. Anyway, deviousness. All of the wreaths and flower offerings should be deleted, and these offerings should stay. Now onto luck offerings. Anything under green is way too small of a difference. You're gone. I'd opt to get rid of luck offerings altogether, because they're silly and outdated, but whatever. Mist offerings. Anything under purple should be gone and killers should be able to lessen or thicken the dark mist. Some huntresses want more vision, some ghost faces want less, give them more control. The shrouds are silly. I think the ones that make you spawn as far away from the killer as possible, and the ones that make you spawn with one other survivor should be gone, and the killer shouldn't be able to influence whether all the survivors spawn separately. That should be a survivor offering, because it benefits the survivors and gives them more pressure. White and black wards, hook closeness offerings, and chest specific offerings are all fine because they noticeably influence the match. And now with all this bloat removed, we have more room for things that players want. Items, add-ons, map offerings, escape kicks, puddings, streamers, and perks. Speaking of, let's go ahead and get- But Sage, it would be so easy for people to have perks. Oh no. What a shame that would be. With the ever-expanding game, we should not need the player base to prestige three every new character that comes out in order to enjoy the best of the perks. Just lock them all in at purple, and when you prestige the character, then you get all the perks at max tier. Next up, let's get rid of the blood point cap. It is silly and outdated with how grindy this game is, and I don't think there's a valid reason for it to be there. People like seeing big numbers. Let them have big numbers. I think that the Shrine of Secrets is a decent way to let players that don't have all the characters get perks, so good job there. Although I wish it would give eight perk options rather than just four, so doubling the capacity of that would be nice. Oh, and it's not related to the blood web, but in the loading screen while playing Survivor, you should be able to see your own and all your teammates' perks, or you can see them in the lobby. One or the other, regardless, it should be common knowledge to the team. I think the automatic blood web node should be available from level zero, because it's still a slow process of leveling up, but now it's less tedious. There should be a reward for prestige 100-ing a character. Please! Literally anything! I take a charm for God's sake! Oh, and you should be able to choose which menu background you have. Feeling festive? Choose the winter event background. Feeling spooky? Choose the haunted by daylight background. You like the feel of tricksters menu? Choose that. And don't put the event offerings and items at the back of the loadouts. People are proud to be loot goblins and to have that many. Let them show it off. I think keys and maps are in desperate need of a rework considering they're, say it with me now, silly and outdated. The thing at the top right of your screen that lets you see your own perks, it should either be universal or removed. Some people have it, some people don't. Why? I think your prestige should be visible to your teammates. It's silly that they're not. Okay, I'm a little sick. That's all I could come up with, but let me know in the comments what else you think they should change. Love you guys. Bye.